Am I happy with the state of America right now? Well, that answer is no. Let's talk about Dwayne The Rock Johnson, the uh, uh, actor and wrestler, I guess we would say. He endorsed Joe Biden in 2020, but made a statement on Fox News to Will Kane that it was a mistake to publicly endorse Joe Biden, that that was the wrong thing to do. Not necessarily that he doesn't believe that Joe Biden was the better choice, but that it was a mistake to say anything. Now, I couldn't disagree more with Dwayne Johnson. I'm going to tell you why in a moment, but let's first listen to what he had to say. You made that endorsement in 2020. Are you happy with the state of America? Am I happy with the state of America right now? Well, that answer is no. Do I believe we're going to get better? I, I believe in that. I'm an optimistic guy, and I, I believe we can get better. Um, the endorsement that I made uh, years ago with Biden was one I thought was the best decision for me at that time. And I thought back then, when we talk about, hey, uh, you know, I, I'm in this position uh, where I have some influence, and it's my job then. I felt like that then. It's my job now to exercise my influence and share with this. This is who I'm going to endorse. Am I going to do that again this year? That answer is no. So he seems to basically be saying I did say I had an opinion at the time. I stated my opinion because I believed it was the right thing to use my influence and visibility to say what I believed. And now he's not going to do it. My view is that it's never a mistake to speak out for what you think is best, first and foremost. Now, it is absolutely the case that at the same time, someone might speak out for what they think is best and I might disagree or you might disagree and that might have repercussions. But there's sort of two different things here. The first is there's this kind of like shut up and dribble stuff we've heard about, oh, athletes should just play the game, play their sport, don't make political statements. And I've said no. They should make political statements. They they are completely entitled to use whatever platform they have to make whatever statement they want. If their employer, be it a sports team or if you work at a retail store, the management of the retail store, it could be the case that your employer sets limits on the while you are working political engagement. So this could apply to a basketball player while on the court. It could apply to a Best Buy or Home Depot employee while they are working. OK, that's that's one thing. But I want to know what people believe in many cases. And if I find it despicable or deplorable, I can choose not to go to their movie or not to go to their game or whatever the case may be. So so one thing about this is just because sometimes people in celebrity uh, positions take a position I don't like doesn't mean I, I don't believe they should express their views. Now, it is true that there are situations where it could be inappropriate to express political beliefs. If I'm buying a car and the salesman goes into some political rant, arguably it's not appropriate to their role as car salespeople. But if it's important for them to tell me their political view, even though they may be fired because they're violating their employer's rules about political statements while working, they can do it. And then there may be repercussions. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is in a different position because of his elite status, prominence, massive personal brand and public influence. If he has a sincerely held view, the view in 2020 was Biden's better. OK, so he made that statement publicly. If he has that view, I don't want him shutting up simply because he thinks it might be better to his brand not to potentially alienate half of the country. It's a choice he can make. He's completely entitled to make that choice. But knowing that he has an opinion, knowing that, by the way, we have such low voter turnout, you can make the case. I believe it's a good case that when people like The Rock say, hey, I'm supporting someone, it increases civic engagement. It says to people, oh, The Rock votes. I should also vote. We're assuming that because he's made an endorsement that he votes, he may just make an endorsement and stay home. But the point is, seeing people like The Rock civically engaged might reach parts of society that are not planning to vote and get them to say, hey, I am going to vote. You can make the case that he has a moral responsibility, given that there would be essentially no downside to him. And even if there were, he's independently wealthy at this point and it wouldn't even matter if he believes that there is a better choice here and he stays quiet and allows the country to suffer. 
you could argue that he's doing something wrong. So this is not about free speech versus not. This isn't about whether he has the the right not to say anything. It's he has a massive platform. He's extraordinarily well liked. I think he seems to have an opinion about who's better. But he's saying that he's just going to opt out of making any endorsement whatsoever. And I apologize. I just punched my mic. I'm getting very, very agitated here. So I, I think that those are the critical things. It is a completely valid position for an entertainer to say to avoid controversy. I'm going to keep my mouth shut, even if the country's worse off for it. I like the view better of what Taylor Swift has done where uh, in in a documentary about her and just through her actions, she has said and we can tell she doesn't care about the repercussions of the advocating for civic engagement, her previous endorsement of Joe Biden. She doesn't care. She's saying this is important to me. And even if I suffer to some degree, I'll be OK. If people don't you know, if I have to sell out my shows with only half the country instead of 80 percent of it or 90 percent of it, I'll do it. I'll be fine. She has decided it's important enough that she's going to take the heat that she's taking. Dwayne The Rock Johnson taking a different view. I don't love it completely his right to do it. But since he has an opinion and he knows Biden's better than Trump for the country, or at least it seems as though that's the case based on the 2020 endorsement, uh, I would like to hear him say it. It is time to start thinking like voters and to make sure that kids understand the importance of voting, how it works, registering ballot initiatives, because so many kids just have no idea. That's why I wrote the new children's book. Think like a voter. I can think of no better time and no more important group of folks to try to reach. The book is now available at davidpackmancom slash book, where, by the way, you can get the first two books in the series as well. Think like a detective and think like a scientist. Really important stuff. Donate them to local libraries, classrooms. Read them with the kids. davidpackmancom slash book.